Windows into the Forgotten, the Elder Hermit. He stands near the summit, surrounded by a divot in the mountain's upward slope. The undying howl of wind and whirl of snow is almost bearable, whipping the tails of a cloak around his tired form. As his flowing hair follows suit, sharp eyebrows awaken and furrow as a scowl forms on his scarred face. Why are you here? You are speechless. Was this really him? What had he become? Nothing like you once knew. Nobody comes without reason. What is yours? You struggle, but manage to speak. Something about help? You are not quite sure. Your head and mouth do not work as they ought. He laughs? No, that was a scoff. You've wasted your time. I don't do that anymore. You are in denial. This is not right. This is not how it was supposed to be. You plead with him. This is not who he is. He is so much better. He is no longer here. You are stuck with me. You are speechless. Again. How could he have fallen so far? How long has he been here? For what reason? You ask. He turns away. Leave me alone. Please. You refuse. You approach the tired old man. He is turned away, but he still sees. He tenses up. He knows what you will do before you do. You put your hand on his shoulder. He recoils. You hurt him? No. Reminded him of hurt. Then I'll make you leave. You start to protest. He snaps his fingers. You disappear. He got what he wanted. He is alone. Resigned to a fate that may not have been certain. Fueled by hatred? No. Loneliness. Even worse. Never and always at home. Never and always at peace. Once a sage. Now an elder hermit.